So far, we've converted our basic HTML site into a basic AMP site. We still want to fix the validation error about the image tag. And to complete the initial version of Chico's Cheese Bike homepage, we want to add additional marketing content as well. The team has decided to add a YouTube video about making cheese bikes, a carousel of images of bike products, and social media links that will help users share our site with their favorite social networks. On a non-AMP page, we'd have to create the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to fulfill these requirements. We'd also want to plan on how to make the site more performant. But fortunately, with AMP, we don't have to worry about any of this. The AMP library is going to give us site building blocks that can be dropped into the site for the features we need. This takes care of performance, accessibility, and security. The AMP building blocks are called components, and they're key to making successful sites with AMP. Web components are building blocks for the web. They either implement a feature or provide functionality, like a slide-out menu, a video player, page analytics, and so on. Components are a combination of structure, HTML, style, CSS, and behavior, JavaScript. AMP's components have accessibility, responsiveness, and performance built right in. There are components for building forms and carousels, for integrating page analytics, for making requests to servers, and much more. The possibilities are virtually endless. You can see the complete list of components at the link in the video description. Many AMP components can also contain other HTML, just as other HTML tags can. Let's look at some examples. Three components we might want to use in our site are the AMP image tag, AMP Twitter tag, and the AMP YouTube tag. Here's an example of the AMP image tag. AMP requires us to specify the dimensions of the image and the source URL for the image. Specifying that the layout is responsive will also make the image fill the parent container. Here's an example of AMP Twitter. AMP Twitter is an extended AMP component, which means you need to include its JavaScript. Again, you specify the dimensions and the layout type. You then provide the tweet ID, and that's it. Tweet, tweet. Finally, here's an example of the AMP YouTube tag. Like the AMP Twitter tag, you need to specify the dimensions, the layout type, and then the video ID, and you need to include its JavaScript, and then you're done. AMP has three types of components. There are built-in components, like AMP image, AMP pixel, and so on. These are included in the base AMP library. Then, there are extended components, like AMP Twitter, AMP YouTube, and so on. These need additional scripts. The third type, experimental components, are not yet ready for wide use. Almost all AMP components are run by at least some JavaScript. For some AMP components, like the AMP image tag, the JavaScript is built directly into the AMP runtime script. You included the AMP runtime script at the top of your page in the boilerplate. But for most AMP components, you'll need to include a separate script tag as shown in this example. You only include the scripts you actually use in your site. This way, users will only have to download the code necessary to browse your page. Less code means that your site will load much faster.